Hey folks, this is Alex with Grow How. Today we've got an edible weed. This is red root pigweed or red root amaranth. This is a fairly common weed in Europe, in North America and South America. It is from South America, so I don't know if you could call it a weed there. When I say edible, it's edible with caution and care. This is a weed that does build up oxalic acid in its leaves. That's actually fairly common even with things like, say, spinach and Swiss chard. But you don't want too much of it. The other thing is, is if it grows in an area that's been fertilized or otherwise has high nitrogen, it does build up nitrates. So you got to be kind of careful. Now, I have fertilized the berries that are behind this. If you look over in the upper right hand corner, there's one of those. It's not doing quite as well as I want it to do. We'll get to that in another video. This is food. You'll note the common name is pigweed. The Latin name, by the way, on this is Amaranthus retroreflexus. I keep on wanting to say that wrong. But the common name pigweed indicates that it's used to feed pigs. You would think, anyway. This can be used to feed animals, but because of those two toxicity things, you gotta be careful on how much you do. It'll put them down if you feed them a lot. A little bit probably won't hurt, just like a little bit is not gonna hurt you. Be cautious. The leaves on this are not only the edible part, but the seeds on this are edible. This isn't the one that we use as grain that any of you old time hippies or neo hippies might be familiar with, but it's actually close enough you can use it. It's not a problem. I would show them to you, but we're just starting to get flowers here. If you look right there, there's the flower. And there's actually a little bit of ambiguity as to what this is because that flower has not developed fully yet. But simply due to the commonality of the retroreflexus, this is most likely common pigweed. Again, that's another name for red root pigweed. There's, there's half a dozen names for this at least. I'm not going to keep it here. I've got another amaranthus, a different species out front that is much more ornamental. And if I'm gonna have a weedy amaranth here, I'd at least like it to be a pretty weed amaranth. So we're just gonna pull this up. And there you see, I think it's showing up on video. It's got a pinkish reddish root. It's also got a very, very distinct smell. I mean, there are other herbs that smell like this, other plants, but you pull this up and you're kind of like, oh uh, yeah, that's amaranth, all right. This is not too big a deal in my area my by area i mean my my property in farms and in gardens it can get excessive also this is one that i find makes it through the composting process at the composting facilities fairly well this will pop up with fresh compost unless they've done a really good job one of the more common weeds to do that so you will see this if you're in utah or really there's a good chance anywhere else in the continental U.S., in Europe or South America, you'll see this is a common weed. Again, you can use it for eating. I'm, I'm not going to get mad at you for that. This one's going to die along with its little friends. There we go, all gone. Please hit the subscribe button and please like the video or ask questions in the comments below. Catch y'all later. Manana.